There's also something else happening, and it's all the way in the other country, the one uh, in the, in the is, it, is it north, west, south? Yeah, in the south of, of South Africa. Okay. Yeah, in the Cape, right, down there at the bottom by the, by the blue oceans, the cold waters down there. Where? Cape Town? Cape Town, yeah. Oh. Apparently there's nomads and stuff like that. That's a country on its own. Eh? It is, huh? But at least for, for that, because I don't know much about it, at least we have someone that knows a bit more. Sure, yeah. So we'll that's going to unpack it yeah. for all those that don't know what digital nomads no, are. No. Uh, you've just been seeing it on Instagram and Twitter and you feel like, ooh, Sabawel. <laughs> but she's Sabawel something you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. And there's been a lot of discussion. I mean, there's many opinions about it. And yeah. I, of course, Black Twitter is going to have an opinion on everything and there's, there's going to be a division. Yeah. And I'm glad we have Akonan Dungane, not mm. the rugby player. Oh, I thought it was the rugby player. It's not. <laughs> no, I had to say not the rugby player. I think in the introduction, she told us not yeah. to say the rugby player. Yeah, I think uh, if you watch last week, ep- last week's episode, episode she, yes. she showed up. She blessed us. Sure, yeah. And this week, she's, she's back with more. Hey? She's back with yeah. more. Yeah, so definitely, we have Akonan Dungane in the building today on Spaza Talk. I think you guys definitely need to give her a digital round of applause. Mm-hmm. She's going to break it down for us what digital nomads are and what are you guys even saying on twitter because mm-hmm. man you guys are saying a lot of things Akona? Hola. come bless us yeah please come bless us uh with your presence and please tell us what are these digital nomads that people are talking about these days and um, I, I mean is it anyone that travels to another country <laughs> so a digital nomad please come a bit closer to the mic yeah 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 thank you that's perfect it's a very cute mic. <laughs> <laughs> you could get a tattoo of this. It will look cute. So Ooh. a digital nomad is somebody who can work remotely from, from anywhere in the world. And I air quotes that in terms of South Africa is now the latest place that people who have the privilege of working from home from anywhere are influxing. Yeah. Into. Bali had it. Uh, Mexico's had it, South Africa's next. Okay. So now I'm not expert on the matter. Traveling is nice, but I'm a tourist. I get a tourist visa. She's well traveled. <laughs> Actually, we forgot to say this. But I was about to ask her if you just d- dive deep into the, like how many countries she's been to. Oh, wow. Oh. I have been to all continents except Antarctica. Uh, once upon a time, in a 12 month straight period, I traveled to about 32 cities and islands around the world. Oh. And now so we're talking my... to an expert right now. <laughs> <laughs> you said a nomad yourself. <laughs> I've been a traveler. Oh, okay, Experiencing okay. places, not extracting from places, giving Ooh. and returning. So there's a difference. There is a huge difference. So as I said, I'm no expert, but I am an active and interested citizen because South Africa does not have a digital nomad visa. Mm. So we have a tourist visa. And I believe Americans can come to south africa for a three month period uninterrupted and they are now staying and working Long. from south africa hmm. now the challenge is, is it because nobody finds a way to get them out or they just decide to stay like well, how does they it just work? decide to stay they they can overstay their visas so they are they illegal immigrants basically essentially that's exactly what it is However, why this is topical right now is because the Department of Home Affairs has drafted an amendment to the immigration bill Mm -hmm. and they are proposing that we have digital nomad visas and this is the time for citizens to actually have a say. Mm -hmm. And they, so they gazette what their amendment bill is Mm -hmm. um, and us as citizens are allowed to write an email a paragraph or two with your opinion. So don't keep your opinion at Black Twitter. Yes. You write to the Department <laughs> of Home Affairs. Sure. I'll give you the email Individually, address. Individually, all of us. All of us. Yeah. We have this time up until the 29th of March, 2024. Our opinion is going to be accepted, read, and then the law or the policy will be written. So, yeah. so yeah. here's I, my opinion. I, I, I keep disturbing you. No, I, I have so many questions on this. Go. Please, please give me your opinion first, section. Please, please. My opinion? Yeah, you. It's an absolute no. So the reason I say it's an absolute no is, let's take Cape Town as an example. Yeah. yeah. Digital nomads, one, do not pay tax in South Africa. Mm. So they That's work bad. from South Africa, but they pay their taxes to their home countries. If you got a work visa to South Africa, your taxes would be paid to South Africa. Africa, So if we are going to allow a digital nomad visa, 
then they must contribute. Yes, yeah. because we are contributing to our roads, yep. our hospitals. For sure. As you know, our healthcare is free if you go that route. Yeah. Um, all of our services that are paid for by tax, we will have an influx of visitors working from here, mm -hmm. using our resources, but not contributing. Hmm. Housing. Housing is already a crisis. Especially in that other country. Especially okay. in that other country, <laughs> right? So, one, we don't have um, laws that uh, have, what is it called? Where you limit how much rent can be paid for a particular uh, area. Uh, we've got no laws around yeah. that. Anyone can charge anything for rent. So what yeah. an influx of so-called digital nomads will do is that they will rent out all of the available properties. The prices will skyrocket. It's like what, what's happening in London right Correct. now. Correct. Yeah. Is that gentrification or something? That is yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. And it's neocolonialism at the same time. But wait, hold on. I mean, we've got like all these people online. They've got videos. And they've like I think they, a lot of them are coming up now. We've got seeing on their TikTok telling us how it is nice to live in South Africa and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that person is showing in their face. Can't we go to them and be like, hey, when are... So it, it does go. also depend. Are they working? Can we prove that they are working? And okay, let's say they are working. So now we have to prove that they're contributing to the economy. Is that what we... But that is why we need to tell the Department of yeah. Affairs, hey, we don't mind your bill, but can I ask you to look at gentrification? How do you protect locals okay. and properties? How do you tax a yeah. digital nomad? Yeah. So that our visitors who are coming beyond tourism because the tourism visitors are contributing to our economy yeah. and how the country and jobs how the, the country is perceived and their experiences which is amazing yeah. but they're here in legal terms as tourists and their visas true true digital nomad visas we need to ask the department of home affairs to amend their bill to go okay cool we don't mind these people being here and working from here tax yeah how do we protect locals and housing how do we maybe not everyone in the CBD working from just this area? What if yeah. you spread them out yeah. to other areas? Or like other countries, we go right. No business can be done in this area. This is a residential area, yes. and we start putting in those protections. So there are so many ideas. Because like looking at just the property prices in Cape Town already, locals can't afford Cape Town. Locals, yeah. locals can't. But now, can I can I just pose you, you both of you, even the question because it's happening in Makasi everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where we've got foreign foreign people that are there illegally. How does that conversation then? How can they apply for a nomad visa too? <laughs> so <laughs> what I love is the classism in your question right? yeah. because we like to call people from African countries foreign. e foreigners, yeah. sure, yeah. immigrants, yeah. and and the xenophobia that, that comes, comes with the show, with yeah, because either you don't have the money, the education, blah, blah, blah. This is the exact same concept. Exactly, you yeah. You've shown up without the right papers and you are potentially doing something illegal. It's just that our laws might be a little mm. bit easy to loophole. But it's the same concept. Emakasi, uh, the so-called illegal immigrants, sure, the yeah. undocumented sure, yeah. Sure. This is the exact same thing. Exactly. Just, Somebody would just say that. The economy says that, well, you're cute. You can go online and you <laughs> can go, I'm a digital nomad. And it's okay. No, you're an illegal immigrant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my if, God. If, if, if we be South Africa is so cheap. You can do ABC. Hi, that's neo colonialism. Mm. This is crazy. So we have to sign the bill or say email the department of? Department of Home Affairs. So the email address where our opinions are requested is, uh, is it Louvre? Let me quickly find it. So this is somebody that we can, I can go on right now my email and type, Hi, Louvo. Uh, on my opinion on these digital nomads is that I feel like they should pay tax in South Africa. Yes. Don't say Mabaha. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, no, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Yes. I don't think they will. Yes. Anyway. South Africa is such a cosmopolitan place and it caters to everything. Sinobun. Yeah. Yeah. Sinobun to the people. Anywhere you go in the world and as a well-traveled person, mm -hmm. you don't find <laughs> sure. people as amazing as South Africa. Yeah. Of course. You don't find landscapes as amazing as South Africa. Yeah. Sure, yeah. You don't find food as delicious as South African food. Everything here is beautiful. Mm. Yes, we we used to be a country, <laughs> but <laughs> we can be better and sure. we are amazing. So, if visitors do want to come here, let's do it right. Let's 100%. let's also protect locals. Let's yeah. let's limit rentals, for example. Mm -hmm. 
a one bedroom cannot cost 25,000 rand a month. Guys, I saw something nope. the size of this tent. Nope. I saw something in Cape Town. It was this one room. It has a it had a bathroom there. Uh, their shower and their little kitchen and their bed and that thing was like six something k or something like that. That's crazy. But that's not for locals. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, not for locals. locals. It's for yeah. these digital yeah. nomads. We are completely priced out mm. of our own country, and already as black people, we feel like visitors in our own country. Mm-hmm. This is another level. For sure, yeah. Especially in Cape Town. Hey, especially in Cape Town, and it is happening across the country. It's just that right now, classism in terms of economy goes oh let's do a digital nomad yeah what are you doing for our brothers and sisters yep. next door sure, how yeah. do we make their immigration easier yep. and for them to also partake in the economy and also get their right papers but in any case with regards to this amendment to the current immigration bill where department of home affairs would like us to give our opinion you send the email to luvo.vena at dha.gov.za so that's alpha love u v o dot V E N for November A at D H A dot org. I mean dot gov dot z a dot z a. We'll definitely put that in the in the, in the description for you guys. Dot gov dot z a. And you just send your opinion. You say yes, I want it, or no, I don't. And some of your reasons. There are a few creators on Twitter and on TikTok. We've actually given some templates. Mm-hmm. It's easy. So can I just ask this before we let you go? And thank you for coming here. I think it's been it's been a little bit, it's been very insightful. Yeah. I want to ask now for the guys Jobas Kulmil, Abanto Makas, the same guys we're saying are illegal immigrants in Makasi and they're trading and they're doing businesses. In my email, how can I include them? Because I feel like those are my brothers and sisters too, and I want them well, you involved. Your opinion. You send your opinion and you say further to this, we need to take considerations for different areas different places of work, different uh, residential areas, and how what your opinion is to immigration sure. and allowing people to participate in South Africa legally. Yeah. And making it easy, giving them access, sure. education around it. Sure, of course. So why can't the Department of Home Affairs do a campaign just like we had our HIV campaigns mm-hmm. of the, the 90s? What is how do we assist each other to live Luti. cross, cross the borders? <laughs> <laughs> there was money for that campaign, <laughs> but someone <laughs> digital vibes. Yeah. That's all I'll say. <laughs> digital vibes. Interesting. <laughs> really great chatting. Akwana, thank Amazing. you so much. Thank we'll, you. we'll definitely put your socials on the uh, in the description below. But thank you so much to Akwana for coming to the podcast. Definitely, definitely check it out. Check it out. Um, it really has been amazing. But yeah, Libs, wow, what an insightful conversation. Man, that's why I was like, yo, let's call an expert in this field. Because, hey, I don't know anything about these digital nomads. The only thing I know is digital vibes.